planner friends, it's Ashley. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm getting my planner set up and ready to go for February. What I'm changing up, I am going to be using a new layout as my catch-all planner, so I'm really excited for that. So I'm going to walk you guys through that entire process. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take off the months in here that are already completed that I can go ahead and take out. I know I have December in here. Um, I will have to leave January though until this week is finished today is Wednesday I had to think about what day it was today's Wednesday so I'll leave January in here but I am going to take this month out here now this is my social media planner and just to let you know all of my planner supplies come from the happy planner and I will link whatever I can down below I know unfortunately some of this stuff is sold out so I will link it if it is available so we're going to take December out these few sheets right here um, let's see these ones are going to stay in my planner but they are going to go into a new section so we're going to take December out and then whatever I take out I'm just going to set to the side for now and I'll put it on the discs where it belongs once it's time for that I'm going to go here to February and I'm going to stick these sheets back in here this is a master list of video ideas that I have and so I keep this here and then I can easily get to it and I will have that ready actually this needs to come out too I created a bunch of these sheets for January February and March these were going to be where I did this like have all my YouTube videos on here but I really didn't like the way that this was working so I think having one big list is um, helping me out and then I've been highlighting once I complete a video but I need to go back in and sit down and do that so that sheet will come out as well and then the first thing that we're gonna do is this section up here so right here I have my dreams wrote out my goals for each month and this is micro goals that help me move closer to this these are what I'm like the top three things I'm gonna be focusing on each month I've got my weekly daily weekly monthly and quarter quarterly planning routine there this is my morning and evening routine I have a cleaning schedule and all of those are going to go back in my planner but I'm going to set them to the side for right now. Now this here, this planner here is my hourly planner and I use this one to block schedule my day. However, when I set this thing up I somehow messed it up and got the weeks mixed up or whatever and I didn't have an extra week for the last week of February so I haven't been able to block schedule my week this week so it is okay for me to go ahead and take this section out. So we'll take that out, set it to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the new one. So this is the goals extension pack. Like I said, it is an hourly layout and it's what I use to block schedule my day and I think Yep, this right here is the next month that we're on. So when you first look at this, you have the divider page, there's the monthly, which I'm not using the monthly, but when you flip it over, there's this goals section and there's also a top priority list. This first divider here, I have it, it says goals. So we're gonna use it To section off where my goals go so I'm gonna flip this one over and then I'm gonna add these sheets back in and then we'll put in the rest of the extension pack now I really love this hourly layout it's really neutral I mean it has some purple but it's not like bright colors I really love it it's been working out fantastic the only thing I'm not a fan of which I thought I would like at first but not really not a fan of I guess I shouldn't say it that way I just don't use them um, there is a things to follow up on and a weekly focus and there's a lot of checklists here I don't use those so what I would normally do is take Tombow double-sided tape adhere these two pages together so then when I would flip it from week to week it would go directly into the next week however I am out of Tombow double-sided tape, so I need to order some. Once I order some, I will sit down and just adhere those pages together. And it's like that after each week. And then the last week here, it, wait a minute, that's the same thing. Okay, so after the final week, it's got the checklist area again, but then it also goes into 
this it says write it down and you've got lined paper which this is really nice to have I haven't used it but it's nice to know that it's there but then it also has this paper here that says upcoming projects and I like having that there too so that's gonna be my hourly planner this right here says calendar and I'm actually gonna move it to the first week here and then um, this thing is undated so whenever you get extension packs they are undated which is nice because you can use them whenever but you can see here in the monthly there's no dates on it same thing for the weekly and for this extension pack it does come with stickers to date it and I have those right up here in the front of my planner and I will sit down after I make this video and I'm going to date this. I'm going to try to make sure I get it done the right way because uh, I totally messed it up, like I said, in January and I didn't have that final week. I don't know what I did. Maybe there wasn't enough pages, which doesn't seem likely. It's more likely that I messed something up. So I will sit down a little bit later and I will go through and put the stickers in there to date this and have this completely set up for February. But other than that, this one, I like I said, I don't use the monthly section of it. I was trying to use it there for a while, but it didn't work out. And I just use the weekly sections to block schedule my day. And I have some videos up on how I block schedule, what it is and all of that information. So I will link those down below. Now the next section here, I have some of these daily sheets and I just stuck these in here. These are also from um, an extension pack and I'll show you what that looks like. It's from the everyday extension pack. So I don't use these all the time, but I do have them in here in case I need them if I have a really busy day and I just wanna put everything inside of this one sheet. It's really nice to have. And then from there, the next section in my planner is my catch-all planner, and this is the one that I'm changing up. So for January, I was using the monthly section from the, what was it called? I don't remember the name of the planner now. Um, it was a horizontal planner from the Happy Planner. It's this one this planner here and I was using the monthly section from it and I have the whole month in here and then for the weeklies though I was using the lined vertical from the happy planner and I really do like the lined vertical my only downside is all the color to it because I feel like each week I have to pick stickers that color coordinate so I'm ready to kind of change that up a little bit and work with a more neutral planner um, the only thing that I'm going to do and like I said I can't do this right now because I don't have any of the Tombow double-sided tape but Here's what I'm gonna do. These will come out and I'll put these back on the discs where they go because I could always use these for something else. This monthly section, I will also put, well, just this one. This will go onto discs. And what I will do is I will take this sheet here which has the month of January and this one from the calendar which has the first week of January that I actually planned in and I will adhere both of these pages together. So if I ever flip back through my January catch-all planner, I can see that I, this was the monthly and then it went right into the weekly. So that's what I will do for that. I am gonna leave this in here for now because like I said, today is Wednesday. So the week isn't completely finished yet, but once this week is over, I will, I'll try to take, to remember to take this out. Um, as you noticed, I had December in here from my social media planner because sometimes I don't sit down and do that. but. All right, let's go ahead and add in the horizontal planner. So I have it on these discs. Actually, I think it come on this, these discs, but I put a different cover on here because I'm using the cover on this planner. So we're gonna pull out February. And we're just gonna pop February in here. So we open it up, this is the monthly section, which it does have some color, so it's not completely neutral, but the colors are not as bright as they were inside of that lined vertical. Because if you look here, we've got yellow, pink, well that's like a darker pink, and a light pink. And then for this, they're a really light blue, which I, I actually love this color, I think it's really pretty. So this is going to be my catch-all planner. If you like planning inside of a horizontal planner, or if you have one and you need some tips for it, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I will be doing videos on how to plan in a horizontal happy planner. And I'll also give you some different tips on it and show you some different things with it. So that's gonna be my catch-all planner. And then from there, it goes into my social media planner. Now, when I set my planner up at the beginning of the year, I went ahead with my social media planner and I set it up until March. 
So I already have February in here and I have March in here. So I don't have to do anything with this section of my planner. It's already ready to go. I just start decorating in here and setting up the monthly. Now I will be filming a video. Um, like I said, this is my social media planner. So I will be filming a video showing you how I'm setting up this monthly section and how I'm planning out my YouTube videos for the entire month. So I did that for January and y'all loved it and you guys asked me to keep doing it. So I'm gonna do that again for February. So again, make sure you subscribe and be watching out for that video. It will be coming very soon. So for my social media planner, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a dashboard layout. It's also from the Happy Planner. I love this one. It's my favorite layout and it's also my favorite planner because it is pretty much neutral other than this little color um, over here and then on the monthly section it has a little bit of color there. But other than that it is completely neutral which I love because then I can use whatever color stickers that I want and I don't feel like I have to color coordinate with the page. So again I have February in here and I also have March in here and then after that this little tab up here it says just saying and this is where I will write out um, the script to some of my YouTube videos not the full script, but I put in like tips and different things or if I need to link to different things, those will all go inside of here. This is a new section that I added. This one says dig in and I stuck this one in here and what I was using it for initially was for some free stuff that I wanted to create for you guys. So different freebies that I could make. And then I was also doing, oh, I must've took it out, but I was doing some research on uh, the different types of crickets and trying to know which one was gonna be the best for me and that kind of thing, so I had all that in there. But I also used this to kind of start planning out my son's party, but uh, it was really simple and we kept it, kept it uh, small and simple this year, so there wasn't a whole lot to plan out. And then last but not least, the section back here is just note paper, but it also has a couple of inserts that I have already created or things that I've wrote down on that I don't need right now, but I will need. Actually, there's that Cricut paper. So this is just a note section right back here. I have extra note paper, my pre-planning sheets, which I will have these linked down below in the description box. Um, I have a whole video up on how I use these sheets with social media. So these are linked down below. They are free. You can download them for a mini, a classic, or a big happy planner, and you can cut them and stick them inside of your planner. So that's gonna be my setup. Let's quickly flip through this. We first open this up. The first section is my goal section. Then we have my calendar, which this is where I block schedule my day. The next section, which will be the horizontal planner. This is going to be my catch-all planner. The next one says business. This is for social media, so YouTube, Instagram. This section here says just saying. This is where I hash out some of my YouTube videos. This one says dig in. This was just kind of planning out some freebies and stuff for you guys. And then the final section here is my note paper. So that is going to be my setup for February. If I do make any changes to this planner, I will definitely let you guys know. One more thing because I get a lot of questions on it. People ask me where I got this deluxe cover at. This is also from the Happy Planner, but I've had this for a couple of years. And unfortunately right now, um, they're not making any more of these deluxe covers. I am saying so many prayers that I hope that they do because these are my favorite. I love these covers. The black one is my absolute favorite. And it's just a really good cover to have. So hopefully they'll start making them again in the future. But as of right now, they are not making them. But I just want to let you know in case you were wondering about this cover. So that is going to be my setup for February. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have an incredible day, my friends. And I will see you in the next video.